of all, we're going to do the double bun in Ava's hair. And we're going to use the quiff thing for this one just to show you how you work this one out. Okay? Just make sure that the hair is well brushed so that you don't have any knots in it when you're putting it up in the dome and in the quiff. So I'm just give it a good brush. And then we're going to section it off for the quiff. So you just take the front, like so. So just try and get it a straight line across because it just help, makes it much easier for when you're trying to section or position the dome up. It has to be in the centre of the head other than that. It won't go look like it's the front side of it. Just get all your hair for the quiff. And we just want that to the side and just put it on. So then you have to just get all the hair up and get the dome up position right on the top of the crown. Because if you put it to the back, the wig will look lopsided. So you need to have it up on top so the wig sits up high. That's the mistake most people make. And the wig always looks like it's slammed in the back and falling off when they're dancing. So this is a really important piece. And then just get your back comb and brush. These brushes are brilliant, they're back comb and brushes, you can get them boots anywhere but they're they're really good for smoothing out the hair after you give it a brush with it. No more hair brush. Just try and get it up as much and as neat as you possibly can and then you can fix it then right. Let's get your bobbin. And just make sure that it's positioned right in the, in the centre of our head. As I said, if you have it too far back when you put the bun on, the bun looks like it's falling down. So it's very important to have it up high on the top of our head. Just twist it around. And you pop your donut on then. We can fix all these little wispy bits when we have this to make sure it's in the centre of the head. And to clip your donut to the head. Because if you don't, and the donut comes loose, the wig will bubble. And it's not the wig that's actually loose on the child, it's the donut underneath, and it's making the wig go back and forward like that. So it's very, very important to make sure that you nearly cement that to the child's head. And if you put the clips in going sideways, because if you put them in this way, they, they slide down, but if you put the clips in sideways, they actually can't really go anywhere. So you just make sure you put it in sideways, grip it to the hair at the back. So you have one at the front, one at the back, and then just do one more on each side. Right, so there, that donut is tight in her head and it, it won't move. So the next thing then is just to get a little bit of hairspray. Just, just to neaten it up. Don't worry about little bits of hair sticking here and now. You're not going to see any of that. All you are concerned about is the hair that's actually going to be seen when the bun is on. The top of it is not a problem. So don't be worrying about it if it's a little bit untidy. Okay, so you have your bun base now ready for it to go on, okay? So we're going to put the bun on before you put the quiff on because if you put the quiff in first and then you start putting the bun on, it starts pulling the quiff back and then you have this idea of the quiff on a slant and it's, it's just not right. So put the bun on first and then do the quiff after. So your little comb here, the string is the back of the bun and the comb up here is the top. So you just push that in under the donut, pull it around. Hold on to the donut with your hand like this, just to fix it, and then you can put it at the back and pull as hard as you can. Okay, now you're left with the string, so just wrap the string around. Don't pull it real tight going around because you, you actually don't need it. It's already pulled in as tight as, as you need it. Just 
push it in to the bun. Now, you can hold on to the bun there, the donut, with your hand and just gently pull at it with your fingers to just get it sitting on the head. Now, we'll finish clipping this when we've done the quiff. Okay, so when you have the string wrapped around and pinned in, then if you put your hand on this, you can feel the donut and that, you can hold it there for a bit and then just pull the wig down onto the hair so that when you clip it in, it's going to blend into her hair. Now, we were actually trying to bring this child a little bit blonder, but we think this is a little bit blonde, so we, we would go darker for her, but it's just to show you putting the bun on anyway. Right, so now we're going to do the quiff. So just get your hairspray and just spray a little bit of the hair. Wrap it around. Now, this is tried and error because it doesn't always go first time, so you might have to try it a few times. But there we go. We got it. So just keep it there with your thumb and then try and put your hand over there just till you get the two sides clipped in. So you just take your clip and just put it into the side just to get that held. And then you go on to the other side and clip this side in. to get it held on and then you can maneuver it around once you have it onto the hair. And then just gently with your fingers just pull it down over to, to cover up any part of the bump it that is shown. And then what you can do is you can take your clips and then just you don't mind about anything all these straggly ends we, we'll sort all that out at the end. The main thing now is to get this on without moving the hair around too much because what happens is if you keep playing around with the hair then you start seeing bits of it coming through and you're better off just to the least handling the better. So just put your clip in there and then you can get all the little straggly bits up. One in the centre, just to make sure that it doesn't fall out when she's dancing. You just put one end at the back at the centre, crossways. Like that. Just always put your clips across, okay? So now we can just blend the bun into our hair now, and then we can finish it off and clean, tidy up all the little strappy bits, okay? So, clipping the bun on, is this, this is the easiest way I find. I just find that it's, it stays tight to the head when you, when you do it like this. If you put the clips in again like this, they're going to slide out when she's dancing. So always when you're putting your clips in, always put them in sideways, all the way around, all sideways. So the first one we put in is right across the front of it and try and just make sure you get it in as tight to her hair as you can, right across the front there. So that's holding that there. And then the next one then, we go around the back and put one right across the back. Again, sideways, that way. Then we're going to take the side. You can hold on to the donut with your hand while you're pulling the wig down so it doesn't move. And then just on the side, again, sideways. And this side. And then all you have to do then is just play around with your fingers just to pull it down. Pull the clothes down onto our head. Make sure it's straight. So what you have now is you have clips all around here and they're all going sideways around the bone like that. So they're holding it on tight. So just to secure it, we're going to just do one more layer here and then it should be okay. So again, in the front, crossways. So I basically have eight clips in that, and that is really tight in your head now, isn't it? Like it's not moving, it's actually glued to our head. I've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're all going that way. The only other clips that you're going to use for this, and they won't be to hold it on, they're only, if you, if you look at it and you want to just blend it, 
want to pull it down more at the side or you want to push it back a little bit or pull it in that's when you use the other clips but the least clips you use the better because the clips only make them go fuzzy so all we're going to do now is just tidy up our little side bits anything that's falling down Now, so we're just going to spray her quiff before you put on her headpiece because the hairspray only dulls the diamond of the hair headpiece so if you do the quiff and you see a little bit of the bumpy thing sticking through don't panic because when they're away from your herbs you can't see it so don't be panicking if you see a little bit of it going through it it doesn't really matter obviously it's Better of you have a perfect that doesn't go. No, it's perfect. It doesn't always go perfect. You can choose your headpiece. Um, we have the. You can either put the side ones on, so they go the side like this, or we have different colours, different ways you can put them on, or you can put flowers. Just two little ones. So you can, you can do the decoration any way you want. So we'll just put these out there. And there we go. So we have Ava here. She's wearing the double bun um, and the full bun bit underneath. 